Hey Alexa, turn off the kitchen light. Okay. Do you want to know how to hook up your own light to your Alexa? Today we're going to show you how we did ours. <laughs> so everybody's trying to make their home smart. Everybody's jumping on board the internet of things. We did the ring last week and this week we decided to get on board with the light switch. Here you can see we replaced our traditional light switch with the Lutron wireless light switch. We got the switch, three connectors and two screws in the box with a wall plate, but we didn't use it. So we had to get a different wall plate because we had a double. And we didn't need a second smart switch, so we just got a regular switch. You'll need two screwdrivers, wire cutters, and download the Lutron app. Turn off the power. That way you don't get your, uh, give yourself a little shock. Remove the wall plate. Uh, it's easier to use a hand screwdriver removing the wall plate so you don't slide out of little slots. Here you remove the switch by removing the two screws on the actual switch itself. These are Phillips heads so you can use a drill or a screwdriver, a power screwdriver to take them out. Now you. You'll usually unscrew these, but ours was factory, uh, and they wouldn't come out, so we had to cut the backs. We didn't have a problem with having more than three wires, nor did we have to clip the sides. Our hole was big enough where both would fit next to each other without touching. Uh, remove the other one. Now we're just going to connect the green wire to our bare ground wire, and then we're going to connect a black wire to one of the black wires coming out of the wall, doesn't matter which one, and then just connect the other black wire. You may have to re-strip your ends if you had to cut them like we did. Here, he's just connecting the ground to the copper wire, and like Garrett said, just choose either black wire goes to either black wire. Pretty simple. All right, now it's time to put them back in the hole and use those two screws that came in the box. But first, we're gonna go ahead and attach that other light switch. I don't even know what that light switch does. I haven't seen it do or work anything yet. That's because we don't have a ceiling fan. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it did a ceiling fan. All right, we taped them off just to make sure they're secure and stuffed them back in the holes. Again, you can use the drill to stick them back in there. Phillips head. And it wants us to attach the plate that came with it, but again, we had a double, so there's our $2 plate. Back to the hand screwdriver so that I don't slip out and nick up the plate around it. You might have to adjust the switch itself in order for it to fit in the plate. It's simple enough to unscrew the mount and slide it a little bit, re-screw it back in. I like all my screws facing the same direction. <laughs> Threw the power back on, nothing blew up, so we downloaded the app and we started to follow the instructions. The first thing it asked us to do is hold down that bottom button, the off button, until all the lights started to blink. Once all the lights started to blink, my app picked it up and asked me for the network password. You're not getting it. So don't even ask. Once I put the network password in, I could see it connect, and then I decided to give it a try. Alexa, turn the kitchen light off. Okay. Alexa, turn the kitchen light on. Okay. All right, that was pretty easy, putting that light switch in. It took no time. You guys watched it pretty much real time. I love it, I'm gonna do all of the light switches. Alexa, turn the kitchen light off. <laughs>